get your mind off the weather, get your mind on your business. Let's play ball. Ah! On a night that wasn't fit for man or beast, the Broncos beat back the elements and beat up the Packers. After the Broncos won the toss, Coach Reeves elected to kick off, forcing Green Bay to handle the ball first in snow-swept Mile High Stadium. Normal, normal, normal route! Packers will start moving from right to left, from south to north. Packers handing the ball off for a loss, and it's picked up on the bounce on the fumble. It will be a touchdown for the Broncos on the first play. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. That's my Way first to, touchdown. Way to pick it up. Way to pick it up. is to Clark and he drives to the right side across the 25 out near the 28 another fumble this one's picked up on the far side and returned by Louis Wright Louis Wright's touchdown made the score 14 to nothing with 14 minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the opening quarter and the Packers never recovered heavy Steeler double zone heavy rush As the emotional leader of Denver's opportunistic defense, Tom Jackson was named by his teammates as the Broncos' most inspirational player for the fourth consecutive year. Rulon Jones' sack forced a record-setting seventh fumble that sealed the Broncos' 17-14 victory. Reeves said the team was winning ugly, but the Broncos were 6-1 and, and off to their most beautiful start ever. Yeah! Get it out to Bell in space, first down and more, sliding inside the five. They give it to Bell again up the middle, touchdown Detroit. Detroit deciding to help with the extra point. Bell in the backfield of Stafford. Going to throw it, tipped, and Bell catches. Two-point conversion, good. It's eight nothing. <laughs> well, you need any kind of help, John, right? Well, everyone has a role, in particular in this type of weather. Here's the backup offensive lineman during the break. <laughs> in New England years ago, they brought the guy in the in the goat cart out. It's Ross. Returnable punt if he gets footing, and he does. Jeremy Ross through the snow on his slate to the end zone touchdown Detroit a 58 yard punt return for Jeremy Ross well, hard to find a way to make big plays in this game and terrific job by the return team, but really just by Jeremy Ross, keeping his footing in this weather. You see all the Eagles chasing them, but Jeremy Ross, outstanding return. There's Ogletree on Brandon Boykin, doing a nice job just mirroring him, staying in the way, and Jeremy Ross does the rest through those six inches of snow. And the Lions, like they did earlier, because of the field conditions, will go for two. They this is guy, Joseph Foria, that Stafford has liked in the red zone all year. Looking for him incomplete. Time for Foles and a lot of it. Going to air it out deep down the field. He's got Cooper. He makes the catch. Riley Cooper with the grab at the 20. Well, there you go. Ask and you shall receive. He finds a way to get out there in front, and the old baseball player, the old outfielder, looks like a center fielder. Locating the football, Nick Foles puts it out there. Backed in the 15th round by the Phillies at one point. You're right, John showed it. Foles on first, throwing for the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia! It's Jackson! Nine. 
19-yard score. And the Eagles back in the game. Now let's watch the back of the end zone. Okay, now it looks like Deshaun Jackson goes out of the end zone. And so with that, I don't know how you really can possibly overturn. In motion. They give to Bryce Brown, and this game is tied. In Philadelphia, they'll kick it off to Ross, who takes it out the one. He's got a punt return touchdown today. Patiently through the hole is Ross. One man to beat. Ross still on his feet. He's going to take it all the way. 98 yards. Unbelievable. Just a total breakdown by the Philadelphia special teams. You scratch and claw and find your way back in the football game tied, and you allow that to happen. Can't happen. Anchors, it's blocked. It's dead ball. It's not a field goal. Extra point. Extra point. There's a knockout. The crowd's going nuts. And Bradley Fletcher thinks he's going to have a score, but it's an extra point. Benny Logan got a hand on it. That was a heck of an effort for nothing. Warranted it. Eagles at their own 43 on a first down. It's McCoy. Sprinting through the line. McCoy! LaShawn McCoy! And we're all That's Casey in motion. Blitz coming, falls. What a catch! Two-point conversion. It's Cooper. It's Philadelphia in front. Foles will sneak it literally. Waiting for the signal. Touchdown. That's where it helps to have a 6 6 quarterback. Nick Foles going to get behind Matheson. Pressure on Stafford. He's got a man, Bell, in the flat. Leaps over defender, Joy Bell. Inside the 25, he hopped over Nate Allen, and Joy Bell out of the backfield with a big play and a gain of 28. Well, they call Joy Bell a jack of all trades. He Get it off, it's Chris Polk through the line. Chris Polk is going to score. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Looking for the end zone, has a man, touchdown! James Jett! Which man on the field James Jett? Three, with all kinds of time, and throws to a wide open David Patton. And Patton inside the 30-yard line, that's enough for a first down. Brady with time, steps up, throws over the middle, and has his man inside the 10-yard line. Kick is away, and the kick is good. Gannon. Eludes the sack and throws over the middle and hit James Jett. 38 yards out. Out of the snow. On its way. Looks good. And it is. Greeny. This side. Oh, what a jack. In front of Torrey James, made by David Patton. Brady, 9 out of 9 for 60 yards on this drive. Steps up. Gonna run it. Inside the 5. Touchdown. Brady with time. Running out of time now, on the move. And is going to run for the first down, and has it and goes out of bounds. Blitz. Lost the football. It's on the ground, covered by the Raiders. The quarterback's arm was going forward. It is an incomplete oh. Well, there's no doubt his arm was going forward. Sure. But he had held up. I think it's safe to say that this will be talked about quite a bit. You think? This is the Patriots' season on the line. The kick is away. It is good. We are in overtime on second and nine. The screen pass for Red Redman. Bounces off tackler, has a first down, and more. Quick pass, Wiggins, first down. Fourth and four. Brady pumps, pumps again, throws, and that's complete for a first down. They give it to Smith, drives the right side. He's going to get a first down inside the 10-yard line.
This is to advance to the AFC Championship game. The snow blowers to try to get the yard lines a little bit more visible. I mean, this is just a wild scene in <laughs> Buffalo. It is snowing in our booth. This is, it's incredible from, from everyone's vantage point. I've got to tell you, I, I played I played a little bit of snow in Seattle. Nothing nothing nearly like this. Played in some cold weather games. The cold really isn't that big of a factor, but you know, not having confidence with your feet, I think, is the biggest thing. When you're playing on defense, you know, you're not able to react, you know, on offense, you can't set people up. You can already see how much slower these players are moving on the field. It's just a different ball game. Now well, this would be about a 47-yard field goal from here. So Chuck Pagano taking no chances. He sends out his rookie punter, Rigoberto Sanchez, to try to angle this one. And <laughs> he sticks it right into the snow. Amazing. 29 yards in the punt as Sanchez getting a lucky break. Here on CBS. Steve Tasker told us it was about a half foot of snow on the field earlier. And this is McCoy leapfrogging a defender. Incredible play by McCoy in the snow. Finally forced out of bounds after a pickup of 22. Time throw for the young quarterback. Bills have to be careful here. No timeouts. Peterman to the end zone. It's caught by Benjamin. Touchdown. And suddenly this Buffalo offense coming alive. Well, you can see right there, Chris Melton just does not have a chance. In terrible position, again, put it up there where only Benjamin can get the ball. And what a beautiful drive. Started off by McCoy and finished with Benjamin and Peterman. Benjamin acquired in that Halloween trade with Carolina. Pick some kind of a time and Benjamin confirmed in the end zone for the build for the cap to our what? What? cameraman and our entire crew braving the elements here to bring you these pictures per set nice little pump fake to free himself will throw towards the end zone boy he has a man but it appeared as though they ran out of room it was Chester Rogers on the catch Stone goal Colts inside the five Set little read option play finds his tight end. It's Doyle for the Indianapolis touchdown. And the Colts on the verge of tying this game. As you mentioned earlier, he's 11 for 21 career in this building. And, and I'll tell you what, he's never kicked in worse conditions than this. Well, he's made some of the, the toughest kicks in the history. Three yard attempts. To try to tie this game. Extra point from Vinatieri. Streaking back. With Webb under center. Here's McCoy. Breaking a tackle. McCoy. Into the end zone. And Buffalo wins it. Incredible. Number 64 on the right side, the combination block, and then get up on that linebacker, Antonio Morrison. One-on-one, -on -one, Shady McCoy against Matthias Farley. Not going to happen. You get a...